Good morning. Good morning, miss. We'll make it a short wedding, but a nice one. What's your first name? Tom. And yours? Laura. Do you, Tom, take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife to love, honor, and keep as any faithful man is bound to do in health, sickness, in good times and bad, and forsaking all others to keep you alone unto her as long as both of you shall live? I do. Do you, Laura, take this man as your lawfully wedded husband? As long as both of you shall live? I do. Got a ring? Oh, no, no, I don't. Well, that's all right. I now pronounce you man and wife. Okay, Rev. The wedding's over. Now get out of here. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you both. by the outside of settlement pretty soon. Might be a good idea for you to buy me some clothes. I don't think he knew who you were. No, he knew what the uniform was, all right. Ain't gonna make traveling any easier around here. You still ride pretty good, do you? Yes. I suppose we unhook the buckboard and saddle these two. Make a lot better time that way. I can't ride in this. All right, when you buy me the clothes, you get yourself something you can ride in. The sooner we get out of here, the better off we're gonna be.
Where'd he get you? What? Got the boot. Didn't go through. Oh. All right, lovebirds. Party's over. Oh, well, you're a southern gentleman. Come on, help the lady on with a boot. Come on. Charlie, what are you going to do? I'm a special deputy. I'm going to take your boyfriend back and hang him. Charlie, we're married now. Well, congratulations. All right, Grayson. It's your move. You're damn right it is. So you just get on your horse. We're going back. But you know they won't give him a chance in town. Sure, I know it. What do you think I'm going to take him? I'm begging you. Don't beg him. Charlie, I'm begging you. Well, Mr. Dooley, tomorrow morning I'm going to take pleasure in watching you hang. Come on, let's go. This time tomorrow, reckon where I'll be. Hadn't have been for Grayson, I'd have been in Tennessee. This time tomorrow, reckon where I'll be. Down in some lonesome valley Hanging from a white oak tree down our horses, ma'am. We'll be leaving in the morning. Who's gonna pay for them? We'll give you a government order. Are you kidding me or something? I got a stack of them things higher in your head. They ain't worth a damn. Cash on the barrel head or they sleep in the street? They're sleeping right here, ma'am, and you will take a government order or I'll commandeer this stable and you'll be sleeping in the street. Rand, bring in the horses. Who's going to pay for his horse? We'll cover it. You one of the ones held up the stagecoach, are you? Well, now, uh, that's what they tell me, ma'am. Got your boyfriend Dooley over to the jail, I see. What are you talking about? I know what goes on around here. <sighs> Deputy brought him in this afternoon, already held the trial. He's sitting in the cell right now, waiting to swing tomorrow morning. Bix, go round up the sheriff and tell him I want to see him at the jail right away. Then go by the hotel and get us a couple of rooms. We'll meet you there after we talk to the sheriff. Oh, yeah, get that doctor over at the jail, too. We'll find out about you right away, Reb. Want to know what goes on around here? I'll tell you every time. Why don't you just help get those horses in, ma'am? Nobody move. Lieutenant, before you raise that gun, you'll be a dead man. You're gonna have the whole town in here, son. Shots nothing around here. All right. 
right now, Lieutenant. Untie this rope. That's not gonna do you any good. I ain't waiting till they put it around my neck. Now get over here. Lieutenant, I'm looking to get out of here alive. And as far as I'm concerned, nothing else counts. Get over here! Closer, Lieutenant. Untie this rope. And let me tell you something. You feel like grabbing this gun? Why, well, go ahead. Cut him off. Move careful. I got two shots. See, so you all feel like moving. Or well, take your choice. Cross that door, man. Take out that warrant for duty. Set it down. You over there by him. Too, man. All right, Lieutenant. Take a piece of that line and tie up your boy. Oh, and Lieutenant. Make it good. When I came back to you after the war, I was. It's like I wanted to get all the love that I could. So I could